Hi guys, I'm Jamie and I wanted to talk to you about a medication that's a little bit different than the norm, but one that's been incredibly effective for me and that I think a lot of people don't know about. And this drug unfortunately has a bad rap and I, I guess I would just like to change that or give a little bit more truth to the substance. So the drug is named ketamine and I'm sure you've heard of it, maybe on the news, maybe called a date rape drug. Um, a, or like a really, really horrible, bad drug. And the truth is, compared to a lot of other drugs, it's just not. Um, and it, I blame this uh, on the drug war in particular. And um, ketamine has been used for depression and for pain for actually over a decade. And it's been used in hospitals and there are a lot of people trying to get it more readily available and a lot of people don't even know that there are there, there sorry there is legal ketamine that you can do and um, it's really helpful and you know if you do it as prescribed it's you it has very little side effects and it's not very harmful so um, I want to talk a little bit <laughs> a little bit how it works. Um, it's an NMDA antagonist and it also acts on opioid receptors. So in that way it helps with pain and inflammation which is huge with Lyme, ME, CFS, um, and it also it does help with depression as well uh, which you could have depression aside from everything or a lot of times depression comes with Lyme and ME, CFS because you're really sick and that's depressing. So that sometimes comes with it. And so it, it helps with, uh, with pain and uh, depression by uh, blocking uh, receptors that do cause inflammation. For example, in fibromyalgia, um, NMDA receptors are usually completely um, going off all the time and you know, very haywired and the ketamine blocks it and calms it down, which is really important. And ketamine works for me um, when, it, when I'm doing Lyme treatments, a lot of times you get an inflammatory response or a Herxheimer reaction and you get, ugh, poor Robin, and you get uh, anxiety that comes with that. Oh, it also helps with anxiety. You get anxiety that comes with that. You get pain and a lot of time pain is equal to inflammation when you're inflamed, you're in pain, and uh, just overall a feeling of malaise and not feeling good. So that that's when I decided to try get dogs, try ketamine uh, for Lyme and ME CFS treatment, and it's really helped with pain. Um, and there, there are plenty of studies, I'll include some in the description, where uh, they, they've done it on a lot of studies on fibromyalgia and ketamine. and people feel better uh, with their pain for sometimes three to four weeks and sometimes longer and the same with depression. So a good way to find out where you can get prescribed ketamine is at a local compounding pharmacy because if you're going to get ketamine to take it home then you need a doctor to prescribe it and there are doctors in just about every state for this so you just go to a compounding pharmacy and ask them and some people have said that they couldn't get it that way and I would just try a different compounding pharmacy almost every far compounding pharmacy I've gone to has made and pres and given out uh, ketamine so there are two ways to go about getting ketamine. Um, so one is what I just described is taking it at home and this is actually um, what it looks like. Well those are just words but I'll, I'll show you the inside. So these are, they, they're kind of like wet lozenges and they don't taste great but they have a really good result and it's called a troche although some people call it troche and I mean it's just uh, not a usual way to take medication so um, I hear it called a few different things, but I, I take that this is around 150 milligrams and I take it throughout the day when I'm in pain and it diminishes it within within about a minute. So it's really quick, uh, fast acting and it goes underneath your tongue and you do it sublingually. Uh, there, there are also uh, nasal sprays and that I haven't done before, but it's it should be around the same effectiveness as this. And 
another way to do it is to go to a ketamine clinic, which, as I said, are in most states. There might be a few states without it. And uh, again, I'll leave a link for that. And what you do, you actually get an intramuscular injection. Sometimes it's an in intravenous injection, but ketamine is a little different where IM is usually more effective. And you usually go in for a few days. And it can be pricey. Sometimes insurance will pay for it. Usually it won't, but it's always worth a try. And um, if you've seen my videos before, you see I'm usually into a lot of natural supplements aside from LDN. Um, so, you know, for this to be a drug that I find really effective to, enough to do a video about, I think says a lot and it's just really been helpful. And a lot of people don't know about it and a lot of people don't know that they can obtain it pretty easily. And as far as side effects, most people feel really unpleasant side effects. I think I'm boring Robin to death. Um, they feel really unpleasant side effects, usually when they're getting the injections, uh, because it's a lot higher of a dose and it might give you the K-hole you guys have heard of, so hallucinations, and it might just be very unpleasant. <laughs> and uh, and at a, if you take it recreationally, so if you take a lot more than you're supposed to and you do it every day, you can have bladder complications. It is rare and that doesn't usually happen with prescribed ketamine, but there are cases of it of people that do it every day that do a lot more than prescribed or do it recreationally. So I don't recommend that. Um, I recommend doing it as prescribed and I hope this video uh, helped introduce you to a new drug that uh, is not very harmful. I think it um, is better than opiates, at least for me. And actually something I wanted to mention, something that I really like about this is if you take low-dose naltrexone, you don't have a lot of options as far as a really good painkiller. Um, you know, you can take ibuprofen and a, and a lot of over-the-counter meds and, so, you know, tramadol sometimes, but, you know, forget it. Like, if you want to, or if you not want to, but if you need to take Vicodin or Norco, um, it's going to interact with LDN, and one of the two, if not both, are not going to work. And this does not act so much on opioid receptors that it cancels out LDN or vice versa. So this is a really good alternative um, for pain for people that take LDN. And that's kind of why I ran into this and why my doctor and I thought it would be a good option. So I hope that this opened your eyes to a new drug slash substance you could possibly try. And I will see you guys next time. I will have a lot of links in the description. Straighten yourself out, Robin. Okay, bye.